Today, I will take this session on Le Chatelier's principle, which is there in Unit 6, Chemical Equilibrium 2 of BCHCT 133. Okay, students, today let us uh, discuss the Le Chatelier's principle, which is there in Section 6.3 of Unit 6, page 150 of BCHCT 133. So, if there is a slight disturbance in the system at equilibrium, either by a change in the temperature or the concentration of reactants or products, the system will react in response to the change. So, Henry Louis Le Chatelier was the first one to describe qualitatively how these changes influence a chemical reaction and equilibrium. It can be written as any change to a chemical reaction at equilibrium causes the reaction to proceed in the direction that reduces the effect of the change. Then with the example of the formation of ammonia, this is described, you can read through this. And, uh, you know, Le Chatelier's principle is utilized by the chemists to improve the yield of reaction. So, especially with the example of the formation of the ammonia, it is explained how it can be done. See, in 6.31, there is the uh, effect of change of concentration which is discussed. And with the example of the preparation of phosgene, it is done so. And then also this uh, principle helps us to predict the direction of the reaction when the system is disturbed. So if the concentration of SO2 is increased in this reaction formation of sulfur trioxide, then the reaction will proceed in the direction that decreases the concentration of the added substance. Sulfur trioxide will form as SO2 is consumed. This you can see with the application of Le Chatelier's principle to it. Then the 6.3.2 effect of change of pressure. Changes in the partial pressures of gases have the same effect of change in concentration because pressure is just another measure of concentration. So you can change partial pressure of the reacting species by adding or removing either the reactants or products. And in this following example, you can see how by changing the partial pressure and by utilizing the Le Chatelier's principle, you will see that in which direction the effect of the change will, can be minimized and the reaction will proceed in that direction. So then comes in 6.3.3 effect of change of temperature. Here if you increase the temperature then what will happen? Suppose say with the example of this reaction sulfur trioxide formation. Here the formation of sulfur trioxide is an exothermic reaction. So when heated the system forms additional reactants as a reaction occurs to consume the added heat. When this reaction is studied at laboratory temperatures this exothermic reaction proceeds towards the formation of sulfur trioxide. So you see all these results match with the Le Chatelier's principle. Increasing the temperature of an, of an exothermic reaction decreases the equilibrium constant. So more reactants are formed. Another interesting is that the last part, the 6.3.4 effect of addition of inert gas. So if a non-reactive gas is added, then what happens? For example, in the sulfur trioxide, sulfur dioxide equilibrium, in the presence of or absence of other gases if it is studied, then if you add inert gas at constant volume, then total pressure will increase. So 
partial pressure of gaseous reactants and of the products will not change and the equilibrium will not change hence when an inert gas is added to the system in equilibrium at constant volume there will be no effect on the equilibrium but when you are adding inert gas at constant pressure what is happening the total volume will increase hence the partial pressure of gaseous products will decrease therefore equilibrium will shift towards the direction in which there is increase in number of moles of gases for example if you take this reaction then the addition of inert gas at constant pressure to this above reaction will shift the equilibrium towards the forward reaction because the number of moles of gaseous products is more than the number of moles of gaseous reactants here it is 4 and here reactants is 2 moles last is effect of addition of catalyst in 6.3.5 you know what is the function of the catalyst catalyst speeds up the forward and reverse reaction to the same extent because adding a catalyst it doesn't affect the relative rates of the two reactions it can't affect the position of equilibrium so then why the chemists use catalyst so that the dynamic equilibrium is set up the rates of the forward reaction and the reverse reaction have to become equal now for a very slow reaction it could take years a catalyst speeds up the rate at which the reaction reaches dynamic equilibrium so you see with this figure 6.2 the qualitative effect of pressure and volume on the equilibrium please see this diagram carefully where you see a mixture of gaseous nitrogen hydrogen and ammonia at equilibrium in b when the pressure is increased by decreasing the volume the mixture is no longer in equilibrium the qc becomes less than kc and c reaction occurs from left to right reaction occurs from left to right as qc becomes less than kc decreasing the total number of gaseous molecules until the equilibrium is re-established and qc becomes equal to kc so go through figure 6.3 and also go through all the saqs and terminal questions From this open educational resources image from www.chemistrynotmystery.com, you can see that the equilibrium is like a seesaw balance when we play seesaw just like that. The balance may be destroyed and equilibrium may be destroyed in a similar way. So if the left side goes down to lift this side up, reaction shifts in forward direction. And if the right side goes up to pull this side down, reaction shifts in forward direction. From another open educational resource image, from the same resource, you can see that the pressure is increased when we reduce the volume by half pressure will be doubled to release the pressure system reduces the number of moles so students similarly I have given links to other interesting resources in the WEAS Please go through them for these topic, La Chatelier's Principle. And I hope this makes the topic more interesting and you can understand this topic very well. Till then, happy learning.